<laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, friends. Welcome to Winter Garden Storytime. We're so happy you're here. We'll just give everybody a minute to find their, their seats, as it were. Come on in. We have a little song with some motions that we could do together while we wait for everyone to join us. Does that sound fun? What do you think, Pinks? Do you want to do that? Oh, she's excited. I think we better do that, Noelle. Oh, that sounds great. The song that we can sing and do our motions to is called Five Little Carrots. And I am, can sing and everyone can follow along. I believe that we can share out some lyrics for all of you as well. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Here we go. Five little carrots in the garden. Five little carrots in the garden. Along came a bunny, hop, 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 and it picked a little carrot and it ate it all up. Four little carrots in the garden. Four little carrots in the garden. Along came a bunny, hop, 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 and it picked a little carrot and it ate it all up. Three little carrots in the garden. Three little carrots in the garden. Along came a bunny, hop, 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 and it picked a little carrot and it ate it all up. Ooh, yum. <laughs> Two little carrots in the garden. Two little carrots in the garden. Along came a bunny, hop, 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 and it picked a little carrot and it ate it all up. One left. One little carrot in the garden. One little carrot in the garden. Along came a bunny, hop, 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 and it picked a little carrot and it ate it all up. <gasps> no more carrots in the garden. No more carrots in the garden. It's time to buy and plant some seeds to grow some more carrots for our bunnies. Hooray! <laughs> and, and for our jackalopes too. Oh yeah. Yes. I believe jackalopes also enjoy carrots. Is that right, Pinky? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> well, welcome friends. I'm Rachel. This is my friend Pinky. And this is our friend, Noelle, and we are thrilled to welcome you to Garden Storytime. Did you know we can grow plants in the wintertime too? We can, and that includes plants that we can eat. We just have to make special places for them. And one of those special places is called a greenhouse. How many of you know what a greenhouse is? Can you raise your hand? Ooh. Okay, well, we're gonna learn more about greenhouses today. Now, certain vegetables grow really well in the winter, and sometimes in greenhouses or indoors. Can you guess one of them? I'm gonna give you a hint. It's long and it's orange. It has a green leafy top, and we just sang a song about it. Oh, now Pinky knows what it is, she knows. Can you share it with us in the chat? What do you think it is? And teachers, we're really glad that you brought your class with you to story time today. So drop your program name in the chat. We'd love to say hello to all of you. We're gonna have a few gardening goodies for you that we're gonna drop into the chat and send to you in a digital backpack in an email. So keep an eye out for that. But for today, my friend Noelle is gonna talk to you about winter vegetables. Noelle, did anybody guess our winter vegetable that is long? and orange and has a leafy top? I think so. I see in the chat. Oh, I see an You're emoji. saying hi to us. Hello, Sparks Head Start. Hello, Sparks Head Start. I don't see an answer in the chat yet. Oh dear. Oh, did we stump them? I wonder if they know. I wonder. I if wonder if I tell them. <laughs> a carrot that's right <laughs> i brought a big orange carrot here to look at together too 
It has oh. all of those things that Rachel described. It's orange. It's long and skinny. It has green shoots that grow out the top. It's exciting. I really, really oh. love carrots. My name is Noelle. If you're meeting me for the first time, I work for Kids Gardening, which is a national nonprofit that creates opportunities for all kids to play and learn and grow in the garden. And I love to garden and I really love carrots. And we are going to talk a little bit about carrots and other things that grow well in the winter today and read a story about a little boy who is growing carrots in a greenhouse. Ooh. So, oh, Pinky, was that exciting? Do you like yeah. greenhouses? Oh, there's so much to learn and enjoy together today. I brought a big orange carrot here, and you can see that it has these green shoots out the top. They've been cut a little bit, so they fit nicely in the grocery store where I bought this one. But these green shoots always often have these feathery green leaves at the top when they're growing in the ground still. And carrots grow into the ground. So if we were in the garden, all we would see are these green shoots. And in order to pick our carrot, we'd have to pull it out of the ground and be surprised by what color, what shape, how big it got. I have some other colors of carrots here today. They come in many different colors. Would you like to guess what color might be next? Oh, is, is one of them pink? A pink carrot? I don't have a pink carrot, but I have something pretty similar. What is it, what is it? It's a it's purple, purple carrot. <laughs> it's so pretty. So pretty. I think purple carrots might be my favorite carrot because the color is so incredible. And if you cook with purple carrots, they turn everything that you cook with them purple. It's like painting with your food. Oh my goodness. I love painting. I want to paint with carrots. Okay. Well, I guess I know what we're having for dinner tonight now. Sometimes I'll make a purple soup with purple carrots and purple sweet potatoes, and it is really delicious. <laughs> this purple carrot tastes like an orange carrot. It also has the same feathery, stringy little roots coming off the end, the same green shoots. It's just a different color. I have another color of carrot with me. Do you want to guess what color comes next? Oh, oh, oh. Head start, what do you think? What comes next? Check the chat and see if you have any guesses. I saw some guesses for purple. You guessed it. <gasps> yellow. Yellow. How about yellow? You're right. I brought some yellow carrots with me. There they are. Now, these are kind of more of a pale yellow, but they can come in really bright golden yellow, too. Same green stems, those feathery leaves, same stringy roots coming off the sides, and they taste just like orange carrots. Wow. One more color of carrot. Does anyone want to guess what color it is? I'm checking the chat. Okay, head start. What do you think? What do you think? What might our last color that I have be? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's not pink. And we've seen orange and purple and yellow. Mm. Oh, what about blue? You got any blue ones, Noelle? Blue carrots. There are carrots that come in a slightly more blue color, like those purples, but I don't have that color with me today. I have white carrots with me today. Look at those. Same stringy roots coming off the sides, same green shoots coming off the top, and those feathery leaves growing out of the shoots. And they taste just like orange carrots too. Carrots come in all sorts of colors. They do come in pink, Pinky. They do come in slightly blue or purple colors. They can even be so purple that they look like black carrots. There are red carrots. There are carrots in many different colors. One of the reasons I love them so much. That is amazing. I love that carrots can be so different and yet, and yet the same. Mm -hmm. Pinky and Head Start, do you know what these are? Have you ever seen these before? Oh, those are baby carrots they're baby carrots these are carrots too and they're not babies they don't grow up into the bigger carrots but they are big carrots that have been cut by a special machine into these very cute round little pieces that make them really fun and easy for us to eat so mm -hmm. if you see these in your store 
or maybe on your plate. They are smaller pieces of those bigger carrots we looked at. And here's one of those purple carrots as a baby carrot with a color oh. surprise inside. Oh. Purple carrots usually have a little bit of yellow on the inside too. Carrots are amazing. Small. They're two different colors. It's pretty beautiful, huh? Wow. It's like a <laughs> rainbow in a carrot. <laughs> It's amazing. Carrots are what I would call a winter vegetable, meaning that they like slightly cooler, wetter weather, which is what many places have in the winter time. Some places have mild winters. It depends where you live. Maybe you live in a place where winter time means slightly colder temperatures and more rain, but no snow. Maybe you live in a place that it is a lot colder in the winter time and you have to wear special clothes and you have a little bit of snow or a whole lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Plants can grow in the winter time in those milder winters outside, but in those colder winters, they need to come inside and that can be in your home. Our homes are warmer on the inside than it is outside, right? Oh well, yeah, lots, lots warmer. <laughs> like to stay comfy and it's safer for us too, right? So we can bring plants inside in the winter time. Have you ever seen a plant growing inside? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, our plants don't grow so well, Noel. We're still working on that. Oh, you have to remember to water them, Noel. Oh. You do, and that's okay. There are some plants that want to be inside your home all year long. So you can garden inside your home all the time. Some plants don't like a lot of direct sunlight, so having a little bit of shade inside your home with you is where they want to be. But other times in the winter, you can bring certain plants inside and very close to a window so they can still get direct sunlight like they would outside, but stay nice and warm and healthy inside with you. There's even a special house that people build just for plants. Yeah. We mentioned it earlier. It's called a greenhouse. And that doesn't well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah, we remember the word greenhouse. It doesn't mean that it's painted green, although sometimes it could be. A greenhouse is a house for green things growing inside of it. And what makes a greenhouse a greenhouse is that its walls and its ceiling are all glass windows. Whoa, an all windows house? An all windows house. Greenhouses can be really small. They can be big buildings, but imagine being somewhere where all of your windows and your ceilings, all of your walls and your ceilings <laughs> were windows. Well, you could always see what the weather is. You could always see what the weather is. There wouldn't be oh, much protection. You could watch the stars at nighttime. Oh. Nice. On a really hot summer day though, it wouldn't provide a lot of shelter from the sun, which is why our homes usually have roofs that aren't entirely windows. Some roofs might have some windows, but we need a little shelter from the sun. Plants, however, love sun. So making a house out of windows means that all the sun can get to them all day long. And when the warmth from the sun comes in those windows, the windows trap it inside, making the inside of that greenhouse warmer than outside. Oh, I bet that feels so good for the plants. Nice and warm in the sun. Mm -hmm. It's just what they want. So we can give them those conditions they need to grow really big and really happy if we give them a little bit of warmth and some sun in the winter time, whether that's in your home, in your school, or in a greenhouse. Mm. I brought a book with me today all about growing plants in a greenhouse. Would you like to see it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super excited about this book, everybody. Look at that. Oh, Logan's in his greenhouse. Logan's Greenhouse. So Logan's Greenhouse is a story about a little boy named Logan who has a greenhouse and grows plants in it. Logan is looking for a very specific plant so he can make a tasty soup for his friends when they come to visit. And we can help Logan find this plant. Do you want to find out some more? Well, hit start. Logan needs our help. Are you ready? We, we have to help Logan find his special plant. Are you ready? Very excited. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. The inside of this book is so beautiful. Look at all of those plants. These are all winter plants. Winter. I love those plants. Foods. We're going to learn all about each of them. Okay, okay, let's do it. There's Logan and his family. 
and his pet chameleon, who we will see a lot more on the pages. We'll see if we can find this pet chameleon on each page. Logan's Greenhouse, written by Janae Brownwood and illustrated by Samara Hardy. Ooh. Logan has many plants in his greenhouse. So there is Logan. And Logan is a person who uses a wheelchair, which is a chair with wheels that helps people who need it move their bodies around. There is an outside garden. I see Logan's pet chameleon is with him. There it is, and there it is. Here is Logan's greenhouse. Oh, look, it's all made of windows. It's all windows. We can kind of see some of the plants growing inside. In. I want to go in. Do we get to go in? Too. Today, Logan must find his carrots for his pet play date. Look at Sounds... those carrots. We, we know. know carrots. We just learned all about them. Oh, we I gotta get them. I think we're ready to look for them, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do we know about carrots? Oh, we know so much about carrots. We just learned some about them. Let's refresh our memory and maybe learn something mm -hmm. new too. A carrot is a vegetable that sprouts from a seed, there's our seed, and grows downward in soil. There's oh, a look carrot at it go. growing bigger down into the soil. <laughs> look at that. Who are these? Why are those our, little wormies? They're worms, our garden friends. <laughs> a carrot Thanks, has... Worms. Thanks, worms. A carrot has stems that stick up straight and bushy leaves on its top that are skinny and fan outward. We were looking at those stems and a little bit of those leaves on our carrots earlier. Mm -hmm. it, it often has bright orange skin with ribbed lines on the outside and a few light and dark rings on its inside. So it has those kind of ribbed lines on the outside. And if you cut it open, it has some rings on the inside, a light ring and a dark ring. It's tapered, which means that it starts wider at the top and it thins to a point at the bottom. Can we all say tapered? Tapered. That means Ooh, it's bigger one. on one side than the other. And it's typically long with roots on its end that spread out in different directions. We saw some of those sort of stringy roots on our real carrot earlier. Let's help Logan find his carrots. Are we ready? Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go, everybody. Oh, wow. Look at that. A carrot is a vegetable that sprouts from a seed. Is that a carrot? What do we think? Hmm. Kind of looks like a carrot. It kind of looks like a carrot. Not totally though right these leaves are kind of different they're different yeah you're right these are sweet potatoes a sweet potato plant can grow from a seed but it usually sprouts from other sweet potato plants or other sweet potatoes and if we look closely they're a little bit bigger and rounder the leaves are not feathery and fanned out like our carrot leaves they're big leaves Tricky, tricky sweet potato. Tricky sweet potato, but very tasty. They also grow into the ground like carrots do. Do we see Logan's pet chameleon? Oh, where is he, Head Start? Where is he? He's right with him. There we go. Oh, there he is. <laughs> We've moved a little further into the greenhouse. A carrot grows downward in soil. Is that a carrot? No, that's not a carrot. You're right, Pinky. That's not a carrot. Those are leeks. The bulb of a leek plant starts in soil, but leeks sprouts grow upward, not downward. We can see oh. Logan has picked one, and the entire plant we can see above ground. Leeks grow well in winter, too, and they are kind of like a mild oniony flavor. They taste really nice. Oh, wow. A carrot has stems that stick up straight. Is that a carrot? 
That is not a carrot. What is that? It has some really funny shapes, right? That looks almost nothing like a carrot. Those are Brussels sprouts. A Brussels oh. sprout plant has many stems, but they mostly stick out sideways, not straight up. And these oh. are the little parts that we eat, these little bulb parts. We can crack them off. They're like little cabbages. And you can cook it looks them like also. like a little tiny tree. It does. Like it's Brussels sprouts. beautiful, tree. right? I think they're very beautiful. Really interesting shapes. But Let's, not a carrot. A carrot. Let's see where we are now. Do we see what kind of weather is outside, everybody? It looks kind of cold. It looks kind of cold. I see some snow. A carrot has bushy leaves on its top. Is this a carrot? No. You're right. No. Those are garlic bulbs. Garlic does have leaves on its top, but they're straggly and not bushy. So these are long, straggly leaves. The garlic bulb is the part that we usually eat the most. And that grows underground like a carrot, too. Let's see what... I look like a carrot, but not a carrot. Not a carrot. Let's keep looking. Okay, okay. A carrot's leaves are skinny and fan outward from the stems. Mm. Is that a carrot? Hmm. No, I don't think so. But I there's something know. in there that kind of looks carroty. What is that? It's also growing in the ground like a carrot. You're right. Those are radishes. A radish's oh. leaves do fan outwards, but they're large and full, not skinny and feathery. Yeah, look at those <gasps> great big leaves. There's our pet chameleon. And oh. our friend the worm. <laughs> our worm friends. Hey, worms. Oh, I know what those are. They're not carrots. No. Many carrots have bright orange skin with ribbed lines on the outside. Is that a carrot? No. What is it? <laughs> That's an orange. You're right, Pinky. Those are oranges. And an orange does have bright orange skin, but it has small dimples on the outside and not ribbed lines. They also grow in trees rather than under the ground. Head start, do you like oranges? Or maybe orange oh. juice? Oh, I love oranges. Not as much as I love bananas, but I do love oranges. <laughs> A very fun fruit. Let's keep looking. Okay. A carrot has a few light and dark rings on its inside. Is that a carrot? No. No, it's not a carrot. Those are beets. A beet does have light and dark rings on its inside, but there are many of them, and not just a few. You can see all of those. A lot beets. of rings. Whoa. But those beets also grow underground like a carrot. I kind of see a theme there with our winter vegetables, huh? So many winter vegetables like to be in the ground. Yeah. Let's keep looking. A carrot is tapered, starting wider at the stem and thins to a point at the bottom. Is that a carrot? No, it's kind of tapering the other way. It's kind of tapering the other way. You're right. Those are pears. A pear is tapered, but it starts thinner near the stem and widens toward the bottom. It's the opposite. Let's keep looking. And they are delicious. They're also a delicious fruit. A carrot is typically long with roots on its end that spread in different directions. Is that a carrot? It's not a carrot either. Those are turnips. A oh, turnip. Turnip. Turnips. They have roots on their end, but a turnip is usually short and wide, not long like a carrot. There's that turnip. Oh my goodness, Noel. There are so many things growing in the greenhouse. I know. So many winter veggies and fruits. Logan's pet play date won't be ready without his carrots, though. We've searched and searched and still no luck. Where, where, where can they be? There's nowhere to find. There's so many things. There's our beets, our oranges. There's a nice herb bed here, too, with some rosemary and sage and basil. Leeks. Radishes. What's that? Are those carrots? 
Wait a second, are they? Oh, they look kind of like carrots. Should we find out? Did our chameleon friend find them? Yay! Yay! Why, yes, those are carrots. They sprout from seeds and grow downward in soil. Their stems stick up straight with bushy leaves on top. They're skinny and fan outward. They have bright orange skin with ribbed lines on the outside and a few light and dark rings on the inside. And they are long and tapered with roots that spread in different directions. Hooray! Those are carrots, all right. We have found Logan's carrots. Thanks, Chameleon. Thanks, Marm. I was to get nervous. Pinky. Just in time to feed some hungry pets and some hungry friends. Hooray! Hooray! Logan's friends and their pets have come over for a pet play date. I see a lot of the foods that we picked with Logan on our search. I see a very tasty winter carrot soup in the middle of the table. That must be what they needed the carrots for. Must be. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I see all of the produce that we picked together. And I think we've done a really good job, Head Start. Thank you so much for helping Logan find these carrots. That is the end of our story. But on the last page of our book is a recipe for Logan's winter carrot soup. Oh, oh so we can make it too. We can make it too. Doesn't it look tasty? Oh, yeah, that looks great. Oh, my goodness. So we are going to be sharing that recipe and some other really great activities from Peachtree Publishing uh, so that you can play with winter vegetables in some new ways. We also have a video link that we will share with you where you can watch the author, Janae Brown Wood, cook Logan's winter carrot soup with her daughter and nephew, which is really oh, yeah. fun. That's a neat video. She does a really great job. A really great job. And us at Kids Gardening have also prepared an activity for you that involves growing some things inside your home with leftovers from your groceries. Can I show you what it looks like when you do? Oh, I want to see. I want to see. This is my kitchen scrap garden. What? Take a look How at that. How did you do that, Noelle? It's really fun. You can take leftovers or little pieces from some of the veggies that and fruits that you bring home anyway to cook and eat with. Uh, and you can take those pieces and either plant them in soil or get them to sprout new growth in water, which is what I've done here. So this is the top of a carrot. Oh my goodness, look. Well, look at that. I just chopped the top of the carrot off and put it in a little bit of water. You can also use some toothpicks to just hang it over a glass and it will cause it to create some more roots and send up some brand new shoots. Oh I put these in water just about four days ago and look how much green is already growing on the top of them. That's amazing. Is it going to grow a new carrot? It will grow a lot of new greens and you can plant it in the ground and get some more growth as well. This is a sweet potato starter. So I took a chunk of my sweet potato that has an eye on it. And an eye is a little divot that grown-ups can help you locate. But if you take that chunk and you put it in water or suspend it over water, these big white roots will grow out of the eye. And soon a whole sprout with leaves will also grow out of the eye. This is amazing. <laughs> Plants are so cool. It's so cool. I did all of this right on my kitchen counter using just the light in my kitchen. But you can do this in a sunny window too. I did also an orange sweet potato with different shaped leaves. Well, those so are pretty fun. leaves. I like those leaves. You can do this like this with chunks of certain vegetables in water, but you can also take seeds out of oranges or lemons at home, plant those in a pot and grow a whole new citrus plant. You can take the pit of an avocado and sprout that into a new avocado tree. You can take garlic or ginger or onions and do the same thing. We have prepared a handout that you can take home and read with your grown-ups and find something that you'd like to sprout out of a kitchen scrap in your own home in the winter time. Wow, Head Start, that is so exciting. I hope you have fun growing all of these neat winter vegetables. Well, thank you all so much. I had so much fun talking about one of my favorite veggies and greenhouses and how you can garden in the winter time with you.
Thank you so much for coming, Noelle. That was amazing, wasn't it, Pinks? Really, really cool. Well, I hope you all had fun at today's Garden Storytime, and I hope that you will join us tomorrow when the Smithsonian National Zoo is going to take us on a field trip, and we're going to meet some cats of all kinds. So I hope you'll come, um, and uh, I hope that you enjoy the sounds they make, the snacks they eat, and I hope you enjoy making your own with all of these great gardening tips and tricks and resources that we're going to make available to you. So again, watch your email. We're going to send all of that to you. Um, and grown-ups, if you'd like to learn more about how gardens can help you combat food insecurity, join us on February 1st for our Spring Grow More Good Garden webinar. We're going to have special guests from Head Start programs joining us to share about their program's garden. And our master gardener, Sarah Pounders, will talk about ways to get started. Now, Pinky's shaking her head at me because I gave you the wrong date for that webinar. It's actually a little later in February, but we'll make sure that that's in your email so that you have it right. The registration link does have it right. So just follow that and we'll see you there. And we'll see you on March 8th for our next garden story time. Did I get that one right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now remember, Head Start, the world is a wonderful place and you are a wonderful you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye friends. 